Hi everyone. In this live session, we are going to solve two equations which was posted by uh, the Greek mathematician Ramanujan. And the equation says it, root x plus y equals 7 and x plus root y equals 11. These are two equations. Now this may look tricky how to solve this. You can try it on your own. Give it a try. They look ordinary but they are not. They are a bit quite tricky. So you cannot go with a simple algebraic method to solve these two equations. So how can we solve these two? So let's try this. All right. So first of all, I have been given two equations which equals 7 on the right hand side and equals 11 on the right hand side. So, and x and y here belongs to integer set. They are integers. So I'm going to write that x and y belongs to integers. Now, what is the first step you can do to solve these two equations is let this be equation 1 let this be equation 2 so you can subtract equation 2 from equation 1 so when you subtract equation 2 minus equation 1 what are you going to get so let's see you have root x plus root y so you have root x plus root y you're going to get equation 1 minus equation 2. You're going to do equation 1 minus equation 2. Root x plus root y. Then you have minus of x plus root y equals 7 minus 11. That's the first step what we are doing in this. Now, what can we, uh, what can you think of? Let's, let's open up the brackets. So you have root x plus root y minus x minus into plus minus root y equals 7 minus 11 is negative 4. Now what can we do? We can just pair up. Alright, I think I messed up something. Root x plus y. This is not root y. That's just y. So you have y minus x. So I'm going to bring that here. y minus x plus you have root x minus root y equals to negative 4. All right. Now what can we do? Now if I want to uh, just take out the negative sign out of here, what will I have? Minus of... I'll just have x minus y plus I have here the same thing root x minus root y so you can just put it in the parenthesis and I have here negative 4 now what can we do we can just interchange things so we have root x minus root y minus so I'm just going to put it back into parenthesis. Now this one minus of x minus y equals negative 4. Alright. Now what can we think of doing? So x and y, I can put it as root x the whole square and root y the whole square. It means the same thing. So you can just have it root x minus root y minus of root x the whole squared minus root y the whole squared and this in parenthesis equals to negative 4 I still have negative 4 with me now again solving for this so I have uh, an identity here that is a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So I'm going to put that root x minus root y minus of I'll have root x plus root y 
into root x minus root y equals to negative 4. Now what can I say in this is I have this term and this term common so I can take it out. So root x minus root y if I take it common what am I left with 1 minus of root x minus into plus minus root y that's that's what I have equals to negative 4 now what do you think we can do we can just take out the negative signs and cancel it off on both sides let's see I have root x minus root y and then let me just shift all the negative signs so I'll have root x positive root x plus positive root y and negative 1 equals to positive 4 now if you can see I have two factors one factor and the second factor this one and this one which equals to 4 so what are the all po what are all possible combinations we can have for for 4 so you can have 2 and 2 and you can have 1 and 4 you can have 4 and 1 positive and negative both as well so now let let me write down so if you have the possible combinations as suppose root x minus root y equals to now if you have 2 let me write down another one the other equation is your other factor root x plus root y minus 1 equals to 1. So if this is equal to 2, my other solution will also be equal to 2. If root x minus root y equals to 1, so my other solution will be equal to 4. If my this factor root x minus root y equals to 4 my other factor should be equal to 1 so i think i got all possible combinations other than this we don't have any possible combinations more now what can we do for this we can just add the two equations add all the possible combinations and check let's see so you have root x plus root x you have two root x minus root y plus root y gets cancelled so you're left with negative 1 equals 2 you'll have 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 1 5 4 plus 1 and 5 now if you only want root x let it be 2 root x so minus 1 goes to the side it becomes plus 1 4 plus 1 you'll have 5 5 plus 1 6 5 plus 1 6 now root x will be equal to 5 over 2 comma 6 divided by 2 is 3 now you cannot have a fraction because as I already told you x and y belongs to integers so you can have this as a solution root x equals to 3 if root x equals to 3 x is equal to 9 so we have got the value of x it's easy for us to find the value of y so let's find out the value of y <clears throat> so as we know x is equal to 9 now we can substitute back in our equation which was root x plus y equals 7 now if I'm going to put that root 9 plus y equals to 7 root 9 is 3 3 plus y equals 7 so y equals 7 minus 3 so that's equal to 4 so y is equal to 4 we have got two solutions x is 9 and y is 4 now if we want to verify substitute in the original equation uh, to check whether it satisfies the given equation or not so let's let's check in our 
original equation. Now you have two equations which were given in the question that was root x plus y equals 7 and x plus root y equals 11. So now let, let me put it back root x, x is equal to 9, right? So I'm going to put root 9 plus y is 4. Root 9 is 3. 3 plus 4 equals 7. So it satisfies the equation. Yes. This one. You have 9 plus square root of 4 equals 9 plus 2 is 11. So yes, that's 11. It satisfies the equation. Hence, x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 4 is the solution for this equation. I hope you like this equation. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care. Have fun.